Okay, so recap muna tayo no ng accounting for PPE or property, plant, and equipment. So nakikita natin yan sa non-current asset section ng um, balance sheet. And uh, usually, no yung mga amounts na involved in property, plant, and equipment ay mga material amounts. No? Mga significant figures, no? malalaki yung mga amount usually na involved sa PPE. Kaya isa yan sa pinakamahalaga no? or significant items sa financial statements. Kaya dapat no, alam natin yung um, accounting treatment kay PPE. So, acquisition on cash basis. Uh, bago tayo mag-proceed, dun sa mismong topic natin ngayon, no? acquisition on a cash basis, Ang PPE, no, kagaya yung binabanggit, isa sa pinakamahalagang items sa financial statements. Kaya alam dapat natin ang accounting treatment for uh, PPE. Basically, no, ang initial measurement, ayan, initial measurement ng PPE ay at cost. No? Ayan, cost. Tapos, ang subsequent subsequent measurement niya depende. No? Depende sa method na ginagamit ng entity. So, maaari kasing gumamit si entity ng cost model tinatawag or revaluation model. Ayan. No? Depende sa kung ano ang method na ginagamit ng entity kapag subsequent measurement na ng PPE. So, kapag cost model, um, cost minus accumulated depreciation minus accumulated impairment loss. So, yan yung nakasanayan nyo, no? Umbaga, yan yung, yung cost model na tinutukoy dito, Yan yung nakasanayan nyo during basic accounting days, no? Dun sa parte ng adjusting entries for depreciation. Cost model, no? Yung ina-apply nyo dun. Ito namang revaluation model. So, ang subsequent measurement ng PPE, kung revaluation model ang ginagamit ng entity ay at revalued amount, no? Less accumulated depreciation, and accumulated impairment uh, losses. Ayan. Pero ano sa kala na natin pag-uusapan itong subsequent measurement? Dahil ang focus natin is dito sa initial measurement, which is um, at cost. No? So, acquisition on a cash basis. Ayan. Paano kaya no, kapag yung PPE ay binili natin on a cash basis. The cost of asset acquired on a cash basis simply includes the cash paid, so kung magkano yung binayad, plus directly attributable cost such as freight, installation cost, and other cost necessary in bringing the asset to the location and condition for the intended use. So sa pinakamadaling ano no, umaga sa pinakamadaling salita. Ang initial measurement ng PPE, so nabanggit na dito sa ano no, sa um sa statement. Initial measurement is at cost, tapos how to compute cost. Syempre, yung cash paid cash paid plus direct attributable cost. Ayan. Again, initial measurement ng PPE is at cost and how to determine cost. So, cost is equal to cash paid plus direct attributable cost. Okay, apply natin sa problem. No? Ang requirement ng problem, so may iksi lang yung problem. No? Ang requirement lang ay journal entries to record the transactions. Application ito no, ng accounting on a cash basis. Presented below is information related to Sonia Company. 
The entity paid cash for machinery, 900,000 pesos, subject to 2% cash discount. And freight on machinery, 35,000 um, pesos. So, to record yung journal entry number 1, no, for transaction number 1, debit machinery. At what amount, no? So, 900,000 pesos, no? Yung uh, price, no? Ng machinery. Tapos, subject to 2% cash discount. Ayan. The entity paid cash for machinery, 900,000 pesos. Subject to 2% cash discount. So, ibig sabihin, ayan, may discount, no? So, hindi totally 900,000 yung binayaran. Dahil sa discount. So, kung may 2% cash discount, therefore, yung nabayaran lang sa 900,000 is yung 98%. That is your cash payment, no? Para dun sa machinery. 900,000 pesos tapos less 2%. Dahil subject siya sa cash discount. Kaya 98% na lang yung uh, babayaran. <coughs> Tapos, so, 900,000 times 98%, basically, yan yung ating cash paid. No? Plus, direct attributable cost. So, may direct attributable cost dito na freight. 35,000 pesos. So, kasama natin yan, no? Ayan. 900,000 times 98% is your cash paid and 35,000 is your direct attributable cost. So, initial measurement is at cost. No? Kaya ganyan. <coughs> 900 times 98% plus 35,000 that is 917. 917,000. Credit cash. 917,000. Yan yung journal entry natin for um, transaction number 1. <coughs> Next natin, number 2. Sonya Company made the following individual cash purchases. So, ayan no, cash purchases again. Land and building, binili niya for 6 million pesos. So, machinery and equipment, binili niya 1.8. Tapos, delivery equipment, 500,000. Papansin nyo, no? May mga acquisition si Sonya Company at single cost. No? Kagaya na to. Dalawang asset, no? Dalawang PPE yung involved. Land, tapos building. Bili niya at single cost, 6 million. Tapos, machinery and office equipment, binili niya at single cost. So, dalawang PPE. Tapos, binili niya at single cost, 1.8 million. Ayan. Paano kaya, no? Kapag ganun, no? Kapag ganun yung mga acquisition. Kapag ang PPE, no, ay binili, at single cost, no, kagaya nito land and building, binili at 6 million single cost. Paano natin siya i-allocate? No? Kasi kailangan natin i-allocate kung magkano yung para sa land and yung cost para sa building. Now, to allocate, kailangan natin ng data ng fair value. An appraisal was made which disclosed the following fair value. So, given naman ang kanilang fair value. So, unahin natin yung pag-allocate kay land and building. So, land and uh, building. Um, 6 million. No? 6 million. So, kay land... Tapos, building. Magkano yung pupunta kay land? And magkano yung pupunta kay building? No? 
So, kailangan lang natin ng data ng kanyang fair value. So, fair value ng land is 1 million. Fair value ng building is 3 million. Total fair value is ah, 4 million. Tapos, kunin lang natin yung kanyang fraction. Fraction. 1 million over 4 million for land or 1 over 4. No? Ayan. 1 over 4 para kay land. 3 over 4 para kay ang building. So, therefore, 1 fourth of 6 million yung pupunta na cost kay land. 1 fourth times um, 6 million is 1.5 million. 6 million times 3 over 4, that is uh, 4.5 million. So, total 6 million. Ayan. Now, to record yung acquisition ng land and building at single cost, ang entry natin dyan would be debit land, 1.5 million. So, ito yun, no? dyan galing. Tapos, building, 4.5 million. So, dito naman galing yun. No? Credit. Cash. 6 million uh, pesos. No? 6 million pesos. Okay. Next natin, yung machinery and equipment. So, ganun lang din ang gagawin natin, no? Yan, machinery and equipment, binili at single cost, 1.8 million. So, kailangan lang natin ng data ng fair value ng machinery and fair value ng coffee's equipment. So, fair value ng machinery is 800,000. Coffee's equipment is 400,000. Total is 1.2 million. Ayan na. Ganyan ang pag-a-allocate no, ng single cost. Kailangan lang natin i-determine yung fair value ng bawat um, asset. Tapos kunin lang din ulit natin yung fraction. So, machinery is um, 8 over 12. No? 8 over 12. Tapos kay office equipment, 4 over 12. So, yung cost, no? Um, 1.8 million times 8 over 12 1.8 million times 8 over 12 that is 1.2 million tapos 1.8 million times 4 over 12 that is uh, 600,000 so total cost is 1.8 million to record yung journal entry to record yung journal entry for acquisition of machinery and office equipment at single cost the entry would be debit to machinery 1.2 million debit office equipment 600,000 credit cash 1.8 million. So, tapos na si machinery and equipment. Tapos na rin si land and building. So, naiwan na lang si delivery equipment. So, paano naman to, no? Kapag ang delivery equipment, ang fair value niya is 350,000. Tapos, binili siya at 500,000 pesos. Remember, initial measurement is equal to cost. And how to determine cost? Cash paid. No? Plus direct attributable cost. So, therefore, kung magkano yung binayad? 500,000. And nag-iisa lang naman yan, no? So, delivery, debit delivery equipment, 500,000. Credit, cash, 500,000 pesos. So, ito pala, no? Ayan. Debit delivery equipment, credit, cash, 500 thousand pesos. 
Yan. So, tapos na yung ating uh, journal entries to record uh, transactions involving acquisition of PPE on a cash basis.